Yo everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite here, FTC compliant vid for adults, and it is a great day to log in to Last Claudia because it is our first anniversary festival. I'm loving this, it's awesome, let's get right into it. Um, we have a bunch of goodies. Uh, well, looks like we're going to have a minute of loading time here, but from what I've managed to gather we all get free 10 pulls now I don't know if they're gonna be giving us a free 10 pull every single day but I know that we got one today I scored a couple SSRs off of that um, on top of that they did put the banner up for Celios and uh, he is a bad bad man Celios is pretty cool he looks awesome I gotta give them props on the sprite the character looks sweet and of course, Celios is armed with ice. He's using ice, so um, he's using the god element. Uh, very powerful. I do have to warn everybody right off rip, don't go crazy uh, dropping everything that you got on these banners because we do have an inbound collab. I think it's Dr. Stone. I myself am not that familiar with... Uh, with that anime but um, it'll be good to know um, how strong those characters come out we've only had one collab so far in this game and of course that was secret of mana we all know where the secret of mana characters rank Randy is still one of the strongest characters in the game even though we've had lots of limited characters come out Randy's still up there and for good reason so it's safe to say that this next collab that's coming out is probably going to have fairly powerful characters in it. So personally, that is what your boy is holding out for. Um, especially when I noticed, um, I wasn't sure how they were going to do this. Um, Celios, I thought might actually be a limited character. But if I scroll all the way down here, Celios is right here, the Ice Emperor, right? right next to Vaughn. These are non-limited characters. Alright? These are non-limited characters. They will be in our summon pool. So do not go crazy and just dump everything you got into this banner. I will say this, however. This arc that is on this banner, uh, what is this called? Icy Guardian. Icy Guardian is a very powerful arc. We will look at that. Um, as you may notice, right here I did do my daily pull on here um, actually I logged in at 6 in the morning I did a daily on this banner I got nothing um, then everything reset so I got to do a second daily which was cool uh, and that one actually did yield me the arc so I am all set with this banner really the number one thing that I wanted from this banner is this amazing badass arc we're gonna just go ahead and take a look at this thing I haven't leveled it up all the way obviously since I just got it but it is uh, definitely worth looking at I don't even know what the trust master is on it I don't know what item is on it. I haven't even gotten that far so uh, this is the icy guardian right critical physical attacks inflict plus 23 percent extra damage and the critical attacks will have an ice attribute that is awesome that increases how much crit damage you're doing um, and the abilities that come with this thing first of all we have ardor critical rate plus 10 percent at max HP every rogue in the world wants this I was super psyched just from seeing that that is a new ability and of course it's gonna give us proud force great wonderful ability royal armor reduces chance of receiving critical hits that can be very good in pvp i mean that can be good all over the place we have ice circle Re regularly deals ice damage to one enemy and reduces thunder resistance so you're going to do ice damage you're going to reduce thunder resistance I don't know how those two coincide with each other. Seems a little random to me, but for 6 SC, I'm willing to try it out. Uh, then we have Night Slayer. Physical attacks are effective against knights. That's pretty cool. Um, it is a slayer, not a killer. It does cost 9 SC, but there are 
there are a lot of characters that are in the knight class, so that is very handy for PvP, or arena, might I say. And then we have Auto Critical. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. For 9SC, this is a continuous critical effect. Right now, I'm rocking Fast Crit. Um, that increases my crit rate by a substantial amount at the very beginning of the battle. Uh, it works well for the rogue. The problem is, after so much time, uh, it goes away. And then you either have to have a critical spell that you can cast on yourself, um, or something like that. This auto crit is just going to be a continuous effect. So you're constantly going to have that critical boost that rogues want, that so many characters with a critical build want so much. Lily can benefit from this. Just about, I mean, just anybody that really rocks a critical build, they can really benefit from auto critical and from Ardor, if you stack both of these together, you're getting a huge critical bonus when the fight starts and you're at max hit points. So this this arc is a must for a lot of critical builds. Um, and I haven't even seen what the arc ether reward is. Oh, it looks like we have some badass ice sword, right? What is this? The Brisk Blade. Zestina. Ooh. It's a sexy name for a sword, Zestina. I like that. Okay. Let's take a look at the stats on this bad boy. Or girl, or girl. Zestina definitely sounds like a girl. Uh, she's got 192 strength. She's going to give you 30 defense and 30 mind. And if you defeat an enemy, you recover some SCT. It's also ice attribute. This is a gnarly ass sword. It is definitely worth the six star title. Um, to a great sword all, all the way around. Obviously this is Celios' sword. I don't even need to read the description. Um, very awesome blade. So this is the new arc. Well, one of the new arcs. The other one is an R arc. I don't have that one yet. I'm sure somebody can leave a comment and tell us all about the R arc. Um, but this thing looks cool. Oh, definitely looks cool. So, can't wait to level this thing up. This is really what I was after um, on this banner. So, I myself, I'm going to hold out for the collab. That is what I would suggest everybody does. We're going to get a lot of resources right now because of this whole one year anniversary. Um, bank on that. Hold on to as many of those as you possibly can. Here's another thing. Celios and the ARC are in this ticket gotcha, I do believe. I think I did look this up. Here he is, Ice Emperor Celios, and the ARC's in here too. So uh, this might be a good time to throw some of those tickets that you got. If you don't want to spend lapis pulling on the banner, maybe you just have a ton of these tickets, you might just be able to net them off of that. Or if you're really lucky, you might be able to get that sweet, sweet critical ARC. All right. I don't have any extra tickets or I'd throw them for you guys right now. Um, if I hadn't have gotten that that daily summon with the arc on it, I did plan on doing um, a 10 pull on that banner in hopes of getting that arc and obviously I didn't need to do that. So everything's getting saved for the collab. That's what your boy's doing. And then we get this banner. A year's worth of gratitude and boy are they really showing it. When I first saw this, I, I just thought it was a free pull. And I was like, all right, cool, right? No, this is a 10 pull, right? This 10 pull netted me three SSRs, which was awesome. It was so nice just to see all three of those red orbs on there. I was totally psyched. Um, this is going to have some of the older uh, units and arcs in it. Genius Archer Fal, Summoner Lena, uh, Luger, King of Destruction, and as far as arcs go, we have Terror of the Sea, Divine Beast, so there's a lot of good things in here, definitely, and they can really help a player get caught up. So I don't know if we're going to get this every single day. It would be pretty cool, um, or if you just get this once. It does say daily. It does say daily. Daily free temple. So 
right now is not the time to not be logging in to Last Claudia. You're going to jip yourself a bunch of free free gotcha summons. I mean, this is sweet. I had really good experience with this right off rip. Um, and yes, it's going to reset in 22 hours and 38 minutes. So I look forward to doing this summon every single day. Other than that, we still have Vaughn summon up. Uh, I did my daily off of here too. I did pull an SSR off of this as well. It's just been raining SSRs today. I don't know. Uh, just good luck, I guess. Um, I did pull a dupe of an SSR arc off of this, but hey, I'm happy about that, right? Like, that's an extra 5% that I don't have to feed Ether into. And then we're back to Celios's. I like his name. It's pretty cool. We're back to his banner. So this is what's up right now. And boy, does he look cool. He definitely, he's he's cold as ice, all right? So other than that, we do have this uh, anniversary thing going on. If you go to the world map, you will see that there's a little banner, and it kind of keeps track of how many points you're going to be earning throughout this process. And here it is. Uh anniversary event you're gonna be earning these little medals um, and let's take a look at the shop because there is some cool things that we can get um, there is a sword and there is also an armor and the stats vary on what level you are and while we're going through the store to get to the marketplace they did restock all of these bundles um, I think the best thing we got right now is like this uh, this $80 bundle that's going to get you uh, 12,000 lapis as opposed to only getting like nine or a, a thousand from just normally buying um, an $80 bundle. So you're getting a little bit more there. Uh, these other bundles, they're the same bundles that have been up. They're not bad bundles, not complaining. So we actually get into the marketplace. We go into the event tab and where is it we're done with this Easter stuff right um, here's the valor of the crimson flame we've been working on that one we scroll all the way down and here it is our first uh, anniversary there's a bunch of shards you can get in here for all of the the basic characters there's some tickets and here it is there's a celebratory blade nothing too crazy nothing too insane um, but pretty much what this thing does is it's gonna give you 66 hit points and it says that it only gives you six strength but your strength is boosted equal to your level so a hundred max so if your character is level a hundred this is going to give you a hundred and six strength which isn't bad for a sword um, I think this is a good item for a lot of people that are just starting to play the game, definitely. And we also have a celebratory robe. Um, same thing, your mind boost is equal to your level. So it's going to give you 106 mind. Um, all in all, four star items, not that bad. So there's some other goodies in here. There's tickets. There's all sorts of crystals and things you can get. Otherworldly matter, that's very nice. So make sure to take advantage of all this good stuff. Other than that, I would have to say if you are still working on... Well, let's see. No, that's it. I think we're pretty much done with Secret of Mana. Um, this is still up. You can still get your Deathbringer of Mana if you need to do some like last ditch effort pulls <clears throat> on this banner to try to score your Randy um, and obviously people are still pulling for Randy because he's such a powerful character which again is why your boy is saving all his lapis because I would really like to see what this whole Dr. Stone collab is going to bring to this game so that's what I'm gonna be doing I suggest everybody else does the same thing if you really want Celios you know, pull for him. It's worth it. The uh, the SSR arc is definitely worth getting. So, um, I don't know. Play smart. If you have a bunch of lapis saved up, 
you know, you might just want to do a 10 pull, see if maybe you can net that arc. Uh, if not, I would hold on to the majority of your lapis because Dr. Stone seems pretty damn skippy. So can't wait till we get that. And I think this is pretty much it. Like this is what we're working with right now. The event here. Oh, we got to talk about the event. We got to talk about the event. Um, here is the first anniversary, first anniversary f festival event right here. Here's the banner for it. You click on this bad boy, and it's a cute little recap of everything that's happened. Um, like the characters are all standing there talking to each other. They go through everything, their fight with Zuglas at Blaze Garden and everything that happened and they kind of, you know, they kind of do their little commentary on it. It's cute, it's nice to see the characters interact with each other. And then as soon as you're done watching this video, bam, they're going to give you a thousand lapis just for checking that stuff out. So very nice of them. Um, and then we do have... Where is it? Valor of the Crimson Flame Part 2. And there is a challenge map that's up. This is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. This bad boy right here. When you get to this level 80, make sure to bring your A game. I gotta say, um, I've heard numerous complaints about how break and the break mechanic in this game is so underplayed. Um, I think the creators have finally heard everybody saying that and they're giving us some crazy boss fight where you actually have to break the boss. Um, this is the first time I have been, like, wiped. I mean completely effing wiped. I went into this fight with a level 80 party. Um, and it was the party that I was working on. So, like, I just thought I was going to have... Uh, a decent time beating this boss. No, I got my ass kicked left and right, up and down. I got my ass beat all over the place. This is a tough fight. I didn't go into it prepared. I just was testing the waters. Now that I know what I'm in for, um, Lily's definitely going to bring all her spells. So, But the take that I got from it is this fight is a good opportunity for a high-level Vaughn to break an enemy down and actually use all those awesome break skills, all those those sweet, sweet one-on-one -on -one damage skills, because it's looking like that's what it's going to take. Um, the level 50 fight isn't that bad. Let's see, which one was it? Yeah, the level 50 fight isn't that bad. Um, <clears throat> I think one of the requirements is nobody dies. That is the hardest requirement to fulfill because you do have to take an underpowered Vaughn with you to this fight and you gotta keep Vaughn alive till the very end um, even when I ran it Vaughn came out with like 600 hit points left but I did manage to uh, to get the achievement for it I missed some of these because I forget to use magic I have to constantly remind myself when I'm clearing one of these the first time use magic throw some magic uh, get that achievement so this is something that I forget to do all the time so obviously I have to go back and run these and cast my little magic spell before I clear the map but this Crimson Flame level 80 this thing is no joke not at all uh, so you guys uh, if you anybody has any tips or tricks on how they beat this level or cheesed it uh, leave a comment for everybody I haven't even had time to like go back in there and try to destroy this thing we're fighting the uh it's a bunch of the chickens it's a bunch of the crazy god of ruin chickens and they are very powerful their little breath attack will just cut right through your party um so pretty difficult fight i thought for level 80 maybe your boy's tripping maybe i just had a bad run of it i don't know let me know what you think leave me a comment so other than that um we do well, we get more points, obviously. Um, it's already been pointed out that this is a very good event to finish because there's tickets in here, there's an SSR ticket, and there's just a bunch of good stuff. So get your points, clear this, and just be careful of this level 80 fight. 
Um, it should go without saying, but bring your A game to that thing. Also, the trading space, I think, has been restocked. Yeah, they've added a bunch of new stuff in here. I know because I already bought all of these, uh, these green crystal clusters. It's nice to see some more of them there. That way I can finish out my lily. And, wow, I really thought Lily was overpowered until I ran her in that uh, that level 80 map. Lily did not have a good run of things in there, but it's okay. We're, we're going to have a rematch. So other than that, I think I've pretty much covered most of everything that's going on right now. Um, the moral of the story is don't go balls deep um, spending on this banner. That's just my advice. Just please remember, Dr. Stone's around the corner. It's a collab. It looks really, really awesome from what I've seen of it. Not familiar with the anime. The art looks really, really good on it. Um, so I'm going to hold out for that. I highly doubt that 12,000 lapis is enough. But, you know, we're getting a lot of lapis right now just from logging in because of this anniversary thing. So for me, this is like my chance to get ahead since I really was only interested in pulling on Celios' banner to get the Ark. I have the Ark, so your boy is happy. Happy one year anniversary, everybody. It doesn't feel like it's been a year. It feels like it's been like six months. But hey, what are you going to do, right? I'm time traveling at the speed of time. Other than that, everybody have an awesome day. Enjoy your free 10 poll, and I wish you all the best of luck. Peace, everybody.